So we're going to do integration of trig functions here. Before we get started, I'm going to show you this diagram. I don't love it, but a lot of people use it. Um, if you want to derive a sine function, you follow your blue lines here. So the derivative of sine is cos, the derivative of cos is negative sine, the derivative of negative sine is negative cos, and the derivative of negative cos is sine. If you want to integrate, obviously integrals are the reverse of that. So the integral of sine x is negative cos x, negative sine x, uh, cos x, sine x work in an anti-clockwise direction. Some people love that diagram. I think it's just completely worthless, but hey, if you love it, use it, it'll help you out. For us in the Queensland system, you're gonna get that on your formula sheet. The integral of sine x is negative cos x. The integral of cos x is sine x, and you should be able to extrapolate everything else out from that. So that's what you'll be provided with in your exams. Maybe you need that, maybe you don't, whatever. Do what you like. It doesn't appear on your formula sheet that you will find useful is the understanding that the integral of a sine or a cos function, ax plus b, so a linear function inside of it with respect to x, will be equal to, if it's a sine, negative, if it's a cos, not negative, positive, 1 over a, the thing in here, cos or sine, depending on which version you're doing, uh, ax plus b plus c. Uh, if that was unclear, come and talk to me, but that should look very familiar now. It happened when we were talking about logs. It happened when we were talking about exponentials. Uh, we sort of talked about reverse chain rule. This is the same kind of deal. This 1 over A keeps appearing all over the place. Stole that out of your textbook. That's an even better way of thinking about what I'm doing. Sine of AX plus B is negative 1 on A cos, and uh, cos A plus B is 1 on A sine. Write that down. Questions to get started on integrals of these. So the integral of sine bracket 3x plus pi on 4 with respect to x, that's going to be equal to, all right, so we need to do 1 over the a, 1 over a, which is 3 here. Now, we're going from sine to cos, so you can use your loopy thing here. You can use the formula sheet here. It's going to be negative, so I need a negative out the front, um, and it's going to become cos. And then that AX plus B just stays exactly how it is. And then we need a plus C on the end. All right, so no real uh, tricks. This should be feeling very, very repetitive at this point. This one, the integral of one quarter sine 4X. Uh, now that's, again, going to be, uh, that 4 is our A value. So it's going to be equal to, with respect to X, of course. It's going to be equal to one quarter, uh, and then that four is also going to be down there, so one quarter times four on the bottom. Uh, cos, now we're going from sine to cos, sine to cos, so it's going to be negative, and then that 4x will stay there, plus c, and that's negative one sixteenth cos 4x plus c. Okay, um, now, I'm going to do one more thing here because with trig functions, we've had trouble in the past doing uh, like tangents and things like that. So we might have some trouble finding our C value as well. Example here, example three, we'll call it. Find f of x given f dash of x equals cos 2x and f of pi equals 2. All right, so if f dash x equals cos 2x, then f of x equals the integral of that with respect to x. Now that's going to be equal to uh, 1 over 2. Uh, now cos becomes sine 2x uh, plus c. And now we need to figure out what that plus c is, and we can do it by putting pi and 2 in for x and y. Okay. Uh, so we'll say that uh, 2 equals half sine 2 times pi plus c. All right, now you need to know what uh, sine 2 pi is. This is something that a few of us struggle with. Um, if I look at my circle here, remember that that dot, the coordinates of that dot are cos theta, sine theta. 2 pi is 360 degrees, so that means I'm placing that dot right there. So that dot is has coordinates of cos 2 pi sine 
2 pi. And the coordinates of that dot are 1, 0. All of this uh, means that sine 2 pi is equal to this number here, 0. So that means that 2 equals 1 half times sine 2 pi, which is 0, plus c. Uh, 2 equals a half times 0, half times 0 is 0, so 2 equals c. Then we can finish this off by saying, therefore, f of x is equal to, well, we said that f of x is equal to half sine 2x plus c, half sine uh, 2x plus, and c, we just figured it out, it's 2. All right, um, if you have trouble with that, and if you would like another explanation, because there's a few different ways to explain that, come and talk to me, we'll figure it out. That's the integration of trig functions.